hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for today so finally we got almost stable android 15 custom rom for poco x2 poco x2 is truly legendary device which caused the first android 15 based project projects takes first ever victoria build so today in this video we are going to do this rom like how to install this build what's working which android 15 features are available in this rom performance of the rom and finally we discussed all the bugs and the missing features so watch this video till the end to get your answer does you need to try this build or not now with the further ado let's get started I am already using the Android 14 based Apollo OS but you can flash this ROM over MIUI 12. You just need download the bootloader and USB debugging enabled in your device. Download both the recovery and ROM zip file in your PC. Power up the device, long press the volume up plus power button. This will boot the device into the bootloader mode. Connect the phone to the PC. Now go to the folder where you place both the recovery and the ROM zip files. There open SIMD window. By long pressing the shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Now in the same D type fastboot devices, once the device got detected, then type fastboot flash recovery and drag the recovery image file in the same D. Once recovery flashing gets done, type fastboot reboot recovery. Phone will boot to this new recovery screen. Here tap apply update, then tap on the apply update from the ADB, then type ADB side load in the CMD and drag the ROM zip file and hit enter. On the phone and in the same window, we will see the flashing process. Once it gets finished, tap on the format data in the recovery. You will get some errors here, but don't worry, next tap reboot the system. Device started to boot into the new Star X OS boot animation. Next, go through the device setup. Later, device will boot into this simple home screen of the device. As the ROM is the first initial vanilla build, we didn't get any features here. But it's a great thing that finally you got the Android 15 for such forgotten device. Let's first check out the about device detail of new Android 15 build. Here we guess the new Android 15 easter egg but it has the same spaceship animation in the easter egg. Star X ROM version is 4.0 alpha 1 build which is released on the 9th September 2024. Security patch is also latest of 5th September 2024. Kana version is 4.14 on 350. So everything is up to date with all the latest source code of Android 15. The next important questions you may all ask what's working. So the basic functions like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Hotspot, GPS, Auto Brightness, Fingerprint, all these things are working fine. All the important things are also working like ear speaker, mic, vibration, multi-touch. All the sensors are also working like accelerometer, gyroscope, light, magnetometer, barometer, compass. But in my device there are some hardware specific issues. So my accelerometer, compass and gyroscopes are showing some errors. ROM comes with a simple Google camera. It's working well but you can install Google Gcam MC build. Its link is available in the video description. All the VOLT and VONR incoming and outgoing calls are also working fine. So basically all the important functions are working in this ROM but there are some bugs that we will discuss in the bugs timeline of this video. Now let's first check out some amazing features of Android 15 available in this ROM. First one is the new expandable volume panel control. Here there are no any visual changes as compared to the old volume panel but when you tap on the expand volume panel you get switch between audio devices you can control volume levels for the media, call, ring, notification and alarm. By tapping on the setting option, you can directly jump into the stock volume control setting of the device. Next is overview of all the Google Apps widgets within the widget setting before actually applying them on the home screen. Under the widget setting, you can overview all the widgets how they will look on the home screen before applying them. Next under the wallpaper and style setting, you get the color contrast control for all the text, buttons and the icons. Actually the text contrast control already available in the Android 14 but now you can separately control the contrast for the icons and the button instead of text as you can check here in the video. Next feature is a partial screen recording. You can record the entire screen of the phone or just a single app if you wish. 
If you choose the single app screen recording and then tap on the start button, you can choose which app to record from the list available. Suppose here we choose on the Google Chrome application, then all the activities within the app will get recorded with the audio. But if I immediately leave the app, recording of that app will get paused for a while until you returns back to the application. Then recording of that application will get immediately resumes from the point where it get paused. So if you check this recorded video where I left the Chrome application and went into the YouTube, the part of that video goes paused and resumed the recording from the point where I started the app uses again. This one is amazing features for the gamers who record the gameplay for their YouTube gaming channels. Next is a minor visual changes in the settings panel. Here now at the top we get the large rounded corner search bar with the settings card. Next there are some visual changes in the back gesture animation, it's same like Android 14 but now it has more materialistic look with some bouncing animation. Next we got some magnifications of the text, when you type the text anywhere in the system whether it is in the search bar of the app drawer or in the settings search panel, we just need to long press on the text and this will enable the magnifications of the text. Next are some minor changes in the animation which may be available in the old Android 14 but I think they are more improved in this build and they are more visible like these apps opening animations after tapping on the widgets of the application and closing animation which looks cool. These are the features of Android 15 but there are some missing features that we will discuss in the bugs part of this video so stay tuned. So the next part of our video is the performance. Actually, I didn't notice there too much difference in Android 14 and this Android 15 based on custom ROMs. Everything is running smoothly, but still, I did the Geekbench performance testing, and I got the result of 559 and 1537 for the single and multi-core respectively. For the GPU performance testing, we got the score of 1111 and 920 for the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics API. So basically the multi-core CPU performance boosted here as compared to the old Android 14 based Apple OS which has just score of 1316. So these are all the pros of upgrading to this amazing alpha build of Star X OS Android 15. But why it's alpha? Because there are some major bugs are there but they can be solved by using the root access. First one is a safety net check is getting failed with this build so you may get some issues while using the some banking and security application. Next is device play protect is not certified so some applications like Netflix are not compatible with this ROM. But wait you can root and use the bypass method to solve these issues its video tutorial link is available in the video description. Next is we didn't guess the code recording in the dialer for this ROM. So these are some bugs and in case of missing feature I didn't cause the private space feature under the security setting of this device. This one is a major feature of Android 15 where you can hide some applications under the private space. We get the separate compartment of this application under the app drawer of new Android 15 which is missing in this build. Instead of these minor issues everything is bugless and the ROM is pretty solid even though it is released as alpha built. I think within one or two next update it will be get fully stable. So this is all about the new Android 15 base star XOS for the POCO X2. Hope you guys liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming content for POCO X2. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.